Hey guys, Cat back here. Um, I have a tutorial. I want to show you how to add uh, clouds to an image uh, in a rapid way doing it. There's many ways to do it. Um, this is just one. I took this picture in Sedona, Arizona some time ago. It was in uh, winter time. Uh, beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. Um, the image is a 4x6 at 300. So I decided I had another image of some clouds, which is this image. That is also uh, the same resolution around 4 by 6, 300 dpi. And you want to try to, if you're going to uh, put another image, uh, combine them together, uh, it's best to try to have them, if possible, the same resolution and size, document size. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is do a little bit of experimenting first. I'm going to turn this layer off. Now, of course, I want the clouds where the blue sky is, okay? So, one way is I can use my modes up here, my blending modes, correct? Now, I'm going to go through here, and we'll start seeing some results. Now, that's dark, and I'm going to speed this up by holding down the shift key and then pressing the plus key. And, by the way, I am on a MacBook on system 10.6.1 Snow Leopard and I'm on Photoshop CS4. Okay, I'm holding the shift key, now the plus. I'm going to go through here in the variety of blending modes. Each one has a different character, a different possibility. It just goes on and on, okay? Alright, I'm going to go back. And the one that I like for right for this exercise is going to be uh, overlay okay now you'll notice that that also made this image the Sedona image a lot lighter okay so if I turn that off that's the original color all right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I have a layer mask here that I already did correct and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and trash that Now I'm going to make another one. I'm going to select my paintbrush, a large soft brush at 100%. Make sure that your foreground color is black, background is white. I'm going to select the mask for the sky image. And as I paint in here, I'm going to get back what the original image underneath is, the Sedona image. Now, I also uh, don't necessarily have to change, uh, you know, paint every little thing. I can create uh, highlights, like for instance, this area. I can paint that in. I can, you know, come back in here, go up here, darken that a little bit, you know, burn that in a little more. Okay. All right. Hold the shift key and turn the mask off. Hold the shift key again, click it. Okay. Now, this layer right now is overlay. The opacity is 100%. The only problem is, though, is that, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, there's no line around here that looks like we cut and paste anything. We, we've used a layer mask. But uh, the clouds are a little on the blue side. So I made another layer, and we come up here, and... I made this layer a lightened layer, and again, I have another mask. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, and I'm going to dump that one. Let's go ahead and make another one. And this is lightened. As you'll notice, uh, there's a color cast here, but on the lightened mode, uh, now I have a nice blue sky with nice, nice billowy white clouds. So again, I'm going to paint the mask here, I'm going to paint out the clouds uh, over the Sedona image with a large brush, 100% black opacity. And I use a Wacom tablet. I'm going to take my pen stylus and I'm going to start painting through here. Don't worry if you make a mistake because, you know, if you go like that or, you, you know, you can always go back to the white and paint it back, you know, if you make a mistake somewhere. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint out this. 
Now, uh, I don't have to paint every little thing either. I mean, there, it's a, you know, there could be clouds that that come, you know, right over a mountain or something. Um, it it really doesn't matter. Now, say that I, you know, that I uh, like that, and then go. No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna paint a little of that back in. All I have to do is select the white for the layer mask. Now, you have to make sure that the layer mask on the particular layer that you are on is selected. As you can see, it has to, if you paint, you know, everything, it's going to mess everything up. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go back here again. As you can see, I'm painting in. White paints in. Black paints out. You know, it's a little confusing for some people. Uh, they have trouble with layer masks. But this is a really fast and great way to get... Um, in a, in a bright blue sky to put some clouds in. Paint that in. Now, of course, it would depend on your image as well. All right. Okay. So there's a little thing up there. I'm going to fix that. Paint that back with white. And I can um, make the edges a little more uniform. So there's the original image. There's the first overlay layer with clouds, and to eliminate the color cast, I went ahead and made another layer and made that a lighten layer. And again, I used layer mask and I painted out uh, things that I did not want. And then I can, uh, I'll show you if I, you know, I could paint it back in too by just, you know, the white. Now that's not, although it's white paint, I'm painting the clouds back in. Uh, that's, you know, it's not like I'm painting white paint. Now I put the mask back on black, and I'm painting out the clouds over the original image. All right. So this is just one way to um, add clouds to an image, a landscape image. Um, there's several other ways. And I will do those in another tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please leave me a comment if you wish. Uh, I enjoy doing these for you. And I learn from everybody else. And let's just keep having fun with Photoshop. This is Katz signing off.